We're on the second floor of the museum. It's basically chronological history of baseball. We're going to go through um, this portal here. We're going to check out the locker room for a minute. Yep. Then we're going to go through into the 19th century and mm -hmm. pass back in time. When we pop out down here, we're going to be in the current year. So we'll start, start here with Milwaukee. And there you go, right there. Nice. That was from 600, of course. That's cool. You uh, wrote on the brim there for us. I'm glad you don't. Does it give the size of the hat? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. It looks really big. Especially <laughs> people will think it's Prince's head. That's good. <laughs> Final out ball from 479. Yep. And then cap from 500. <laughs> and then we have your glove, glove down here, too, for 500. So. I want you to take a look at this the over original here. In fact, class? I want you to, I want, I'm going to ask you to sit down so we can take a little picture. So this is a famous photo that was taken of all the living Hall of Famers uh, from those first four classes. These are the guys that were alive, minus Ty Cobb, who was late for the photo and missed. Look at, look at Babe's sock. <laughs> Between Connie Mack and Babe Ruth. <laughs> and Fernando, you've played with him in San Diego, uh -huh. yeah. He, th he threw the first major league game in Mexico, in Mexico. Yeah. and I missed it because of the birth of my, my first child. Okay. Brody, yeah. We didn't listen to it on the, on the radio. Welcome to Collection Storage. I got some extra large gloves out for you. Thank you. Fresh pair. <coughs> this is to keep the dirt off our hands, from our hands, off of the objects. Oh, wow. This actually has been out on the table all year, but it's certainly fitting. This is Tony's 3,000 hit yeah. bat. Montreal. Yep, so he's the f first and still the only guy to get a 3,000th hit, uh, not on American soil. Tony's shoes for a 3,000th with, of course, the famous 5.5 all. Turf shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and Tony gave us pretty, basically everything he was wearing that day. These are Bob Fowler's uh, oh, wow. from his 18 strikeout game. Wow. So imagine wearing these out in the mound. Wow. Heck this is uh, 1938. So these are yours from 06. I think these are 479. So if you're not sure of the number, I put put them underneath. <laughs> the that, that makes it easy. Yeah. Sandy Koufax, oh, fourth no hitter. Oh, wow. That's cool. You're right. Way better. Garrick for Ruth. OK. Well, I don't know where else do you go. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Hope I'm not being too nerdy. I am a pitcher, sorry. but. <laughs> On to another. Raleigh. That's cool, you guys got the mustache, good. It's, uh, I know we're all disappointed that, that, that Tony's not with us, but he's here in spirit. Likewise. And know that he's certainly proud to have you in here. Well, he was a great teammate and wonderful ambassador to the game of baseball. So if you wouldn't mind, I'd love you to sign. You can just go anywhere in here like these guys did. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. Got it. You know, getting, getting a chance to, uh, you know, see their careers, see, see kind of the stuff jump off the page at you and what they were able to accomplish and, you know, their standing in the game. Uh, to go in and be a part of a, a small class, it's such an elite class, along with all the other Hall of Famers, it's, uh, it's hard to describe in just a few words, really, to let you all know how special a day this has been and a special opportunity but uh you know it's a pretty special a relief class to be a part of and yeah. um i'm excited about being a part of it for sure